Oh my god. I must have accidentally deleted the, the segment. I'm sorry. <sighs> my stupidity is unbelievable. Oh. I already finished the recording, but I, de I accidentally deleted the audio segment without having to s export it all that crap. So now I've got to watch this whole thing again and just, we don't yeah, recap all that happened. So yeah, this is one of those scenes where I forgot to go goth and yeah, they decided to deny me. So I just quickly slipped in my goth clothes and yeah, that happened. I wish I could give you my actual lowdown and actually laugh at the jokes more, but stupid me, I forgot to export the don't file. I am a douchebag, I can't believe I forgot that. I guess I truly am worthy of the name douchebag after all. See, a lot of stuff here happened. With the oh goth joy. kids. It's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons oh of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and take this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Yeah, I myself was surprised when I saw that sign, fuck the conformists. <laughs> but still, they are goth kids, so it's obvious they'd like something like that. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not laughing as much. I was laughing more in the actual audio segment, but yeah, I derped up. I made a big derp on my part. So I went to the PTA meeting. Uh, yeah, where pretty I'm much everyone there, from South Park out. was there. And then Sad just Stan just decides to stand out there like a wuss just in case something goes pear shaped. Which it obviously does later on. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of it nowhere right, this huge taco bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious milk. school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they are working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're going to see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' education. What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, Why can't my character just speak already? And I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead. My character did want to talk about the aliens you know, and the raping and the thing, but then he thought, nah, screw it. I'm gonna be polite. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't gonna do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will. Come on! Come on! Come on. And so yeah, that led me up to talking to everyone else in the place. I I was about to hang the no, sign until. Okay. Look, but this isn't gonna solve anything. Okay. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that, and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. And then Randy Marsh just decides to take me into the bathroom so I can learn a new fart. Uh, but before that, I talked to everyone in the school, as well as Kyle's mom, Sheila. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, it's after that. Derp! I derped again. I can tell again. you have potential, but you are undisciplined. You Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on. Come at me. Yes, yeah, so I fart on him and. See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't Nothing. come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. And so, for some reason, he farts on me, he pushes his farts, it ex it explodes behind me and you see that? I receive an ass kicking. You. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Special attention to the viscosity. 
And so that's how to do it, according to the game. Okay, you try. Just hold the on the frequency. Me. And I try it, and I, I think it was up there, up somewhere. But no, it's exact. It's exactly to the left. Remember that. Imagine you're chewing bubble gum with your butthole. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Randy Marsh is funny. Chewing bubble gum with your butthole. Classic. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey guys. Oh. Mr. Mackey? Now it's your turn. You sneaky squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. And then the head that decides to screw me over. Hey, did you As it guys usually hear that? does. Sounded like a chipmunk. Very, very good. Yeah. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right. Yes, I got that crap from Cartman already. Another thing from Gentleman's Code. This is why we have to reopen the school. Too many idle hands. That's all you've got is a sign? At least crap on a desk or something. I hope you haven't already fallen in with a bad crowd. Don't we screw it around in here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that last guy's voice is weird. So yeah, waiting, loading screen, and... Yeah. Then Stan finally regroups with me. Because things did go a little pear-shaped in there. So then, he and him are running across the street, and then... Oh yeah, we we meet. <laughs> oh my god. And so then, we try to head to the supposed Taco Bell. Uh, I check around the map a little, and I see apparently what looks like Canada at the top there. Because Canada is a pixelated mess, if you've seen episodes of Terence and Philip in Canada. So yeah. Best thing about being a cop is people have to respect your authority. And then I made a respect my authority joke. I decided to walk since I don't have a Timmy flag near there. Oh, what sad times these are! I find this guy. youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. Young man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do: find Jesus. Find him, and when you do, return to me. And then I get the thing from this guy who says need to find Jesus. Oh yeah, and then there's Brat. So yeah, I fight. And then they suddenly decide to fight. I did say they weren't diamonds here and silver spoon, but they were pretty close. And pretty close is good enough. And so I just bang them with execute. I just jam them. I just, I just pound X until there's no tomorrow. And so yeah, I kick arse and look good. And then I decide to check out what Stan can do on the I check out whirlwind strike. I choose this one volley hiding in the corner. I mash X, and then I finish him off with square, and wow, Stan is awesome. Stan is an awesome fighter. And so then I nail this boy with, a, with my probe stick. My probe stick added with fart, and so yeah. I do like stuff, like there are a lot of references, a lot of cool things, a lot of, so yeah. But we'll see all the cool references in a moment. Just after I kick the sh after I after me and Stan kick the shite out of this last body girl. Yeah, that's what they did again. Hey big nose, you should consider having some work done. And then I'm given a friend request by her. So yeah. This gives me another friend to add to the collection and I'm getting closer and closer to my perks, so yeah. 
And then I check the bulletin board and I see so many references. The Coon, the Last of the Mohicans, Stan Ground, Timmy's Band, the Monster Mash. And then I see the I Should Have Never Gone Ziplining Flyer. <laughs> and then the City Sushi. There were so many South Park callbacks in that one flyer board. It was hilarious. <laughs> Especially the I Should Have Never Gone Ziplining one. That was cool. I remember that episode, it was fairly new. And then the stand ground one, that one was also new. Where they get scores is, like, special bracelets st stabilizing stands, standing ground, because he's the only one who has a What Would Jesus Do wristband. After we were saying that Jesus had, was taking H HGH to perform his miracles. And so yeah, then I'm sent to find the actual Jesus in his actual game, I loot crap, and so yeah. So yeah, looking for Jesus, looting crap, that's pretty much what you do in this part of South Park. I find another Sir Timmy flag, and so yeah. I want to go in. I look at the Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he does that a lot of times. If you don't find him straight away, it's it can get annoying. Trust me. <laughs> and so yeah. I essentially look f decide to look for him in the bleachers. Well, well, before I just ransack the the bishop's office. <laughs> so yeah. After I loot the bishop's room, I move out. And that laughing is getting annoying. Stop it, Jesus. <laughs> so then I find Jesus, but nah, not that Jesus. You found me. Oh, it, there he is, hidden Next behind the second bleacher. Next time finding me won't be so easy. He did sound a little childish there. I'm not gonna lie. Better move out. See this little girl, and and so yeah, there's nothing really much to do. So I just keep walking and walking and walking, and so yeah, a lot of that happens. Do not despair. For this many awkward cut are awkward. only to lose him later, but the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. And so he says to find Jesus a second time, and hopefully it'll become handy. I have seen of some few gameplays of this, and I know that Jesus is a summon. I just wanted to keep it secret in the Let's Play part that I accidentally deleted, and so yeah. I derped there, it was a massive derp on my part. So I charge across the road, across the sidewalk, past the lights with Stan. Stan with his awesome sword and awesome abilities. And then I look for Jesus again, and it turns out he's not behind any of the bleachers for some reason. And because South Park is so over the hills funny, uh, over the top funny, I mean, that I couldn't actually find him. And I'm like, God damn it, where is he? I was like, hiding. I was like, L I was like checking behind every bleacher. It took up a lot of my time. Oh, pardon me, I just started. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my farts in the real world do not have any power, which is a shame, because I like farting in South Park, it's awesome. It gives me limitless power. I can fart attack and increase the damage of my weapons. It's awesome, I know. I eventually check the bishops room again, and I need to see that Jesus is not there. I hope you didn't pee. There Remember, I will always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find me again for another. And apparently no summons can defeat bosses. I also then I get two more friend requests. Jesus and the priest. Because, yeah, they're both friends, Jesus and the, fr Jesus and the priest are friends, so they want to be my friend for finding them, so yeah. And then I get a message, and a lot of more stuff happens after that. But then, after a lot of crap goes by, I eventually take the Jimmy flag, and I take it to Token's house, which I guess, meh, that's close enough. And so, I travel the road again, once I get to Token's house, after this loading screen goes. Loading screens are my worst enemy. <laughs> and there's more Taco Bell stuff. And it turns out the mall is not there, and there's this crash site. The crash site that I made. 
Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving enchiladas? What? <laughs> well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. That guy's a douchebag. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have enchiladas or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. Oh, God. It's going to be a huge Taco Bell. Will it serve enchiladas? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Oh yeah, and they just shoot him if he asks questions. Safety, I hope you've learned the lesson here today, kiddies. Don't ask questions. Do you not know that your or your husband is dead? You are a very derpy woman. Derp. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to derp. I had to do a derp noise for extra derp effect. And I try the squeaky. Madonna, ma'am. Sorry, absolutely nobody allowed past. Check back in a few weeks, thank you. And so, yeah. Don't you know any way to get past people? And sorry, my headset just went off again. It's gonna happen a lot. Sweet. And so, yeah. Eventually, I tried the sneaker again and. Scuzzlebutt? Bang, I tried somewhere else. Grabbed them both. And we passed them and, I, and we were in. Me and Stan were investigating the crash site that I crashed. <laughs> Crashing a crash like site. A yeah, you figure out that now, Stan. And so yeah, more walking, more walking, and just waiting. Waiting all that battery drains power. We're being stalked by a beaver family. <laughs> that, it's not beavers. They're being stalked by my farts. <laughs> because killing people in the environment is faster than fighting them. Scientifically proven. <laughs> and so yeah. I eventually went into this supposed Taco Bell. Oh yeah, there was also they also still use the alien probe thing. Ass probe. And then I found a new weapon, my new awesome weapon of awesomeness, the stone hammer. Because hammer is awesome. And so yeah. Stuff, stuff. Lots of stuff. My weapon. I unequip the attachment for my alien probe and say, yeah, you'll want to equip and re-equip attachments as much as possible, your weapon strap-ons. You never know when they could come in handy, and some of them have pretty cool effects, like add 25 fire damage to a perfect attack, meaning if my attack is dead on, it will burn them, and that's pretty fucking sweet. Since I wasn't going to be talking to the gods for a while, I decided to go back to my usual apparatus, my fighting style, my fighting suits. But so and then, far we've been unable to stop the UFO so from leaking the toxic to waste. To we've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And, and does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into Nazi zombies. Nazi zombies. There you have it. Here we go again. Here we God go again. damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so, so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green Tell me about it. totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time <laughs> if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. And so then me and Stan decide to get the encoder before they kind of encrypt it. 
What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have the roof at us! And thus, Nazi zombies are the new threat to this world. I figured that the Nazi zombie was the same as that hobo on the alien ship from two parts ago. I nailed him with Jesus. Now watch this. This is where it gets funny. Lock and load. <laughs> Apparently Jesus uses guns. Gun-toting Jesus is best Jesus. Yeah. And so then I, I loot the dead men, I loot the Nazi zombie. Loot everything that you kill in this game. It'll help you. Man, this secret government so room sure is boring. I run a lap after I find the recording stuff. device. I run a victory lap around the table. Because I'm... Because I can. Because I just can. So then I head out. See, so yeah, there is a lot of South Park jokes that are used in this game. Like, you saw the bulletin board, you saw all the references, like the stand ground and the... And what's the key? And so yeah. And then there's Al Gore with his recent ram... With his constant ramblings about something named Man Bear Pig. I don't remember that episode. And if you remember from last time, I accidentally killed Kenny. I even said I'm a bastard afterwards. So yeah, there's a lot of jokes from South Park used in this game. Attack! And, yeah. and apparently we learn Stan's extra ability marks for death. It lightly damages an enemy and weakens their armor at the same time. Well, not weakens their armor, weakens their defenses. And that zombie gets reposting. Oh, I try to block, but it's hard. I can't time it right. Oh. And then they try to shoot me. Because why didn't they just do that in the first place? I feed Stan some chips a hoe, and then he's good. Because in all honesty, Stan is badass. Stan and Craig are badass. By the way, Nazi zombies can only speak German, random German phrases from the world wars, for some random unknown reason. Yeah. I don't know if anyone can speak German or even understand it, but if they do, they'd understand what these zombies are saying. You hit like my grandpa! Oh yeah. And curve stops is an annoying move. I tried to feed Stan, but it turns out I can't because he's grossed out. So I just like just give him some bottled water and then just waste my item turn. Then just kick the shite out of Nazi zombies. I decided to see my hammer dies to see if it's any good. <laughs> Random outburst of zombiness. It's awesome. I don't know if Nazi zombies were actually used in a South Park episode, or whether they were or not. If they were used in a South Park episode, that'd be awesome, because I've only seen some of the newer episodes, like seasons 8, 9, 13, and 16, or something like that. Have you seen that episode with Oprah's vagina and asshole, like, like holding people hostage? That was awesome. Apparently, Oprah's... Apparently, Oprah's vagina and asshole have minds of their own. Oh god, I hope they use that joke in this game. I hope they bring those two back to life, because that was awesome. I loved that part. And apparently, they both, they're both they both Brits, and one of them was holding an, a, 44 po a point .44 Magnum. Oh yeah, because apparently Stan Marsh tortures butters. <laughs> I, I then burn the fire and grab the chin Pokemon. Yeah, chin Pokemon's cool, chin Pokemon's nice. Hello, Thomas. Hey, Em. 
Yeah, I'm just making a. I'm just making a director's a, a director's commentary, seeing as Have you heard? my well, initial commentary just faded away. I accidentally deleted it. I made a derp on my part. I'm stupid. I'm a stupid asshole. <sighs> okay, my, I guess my name really is douchebag. I'm a douchebag for deleting my own recording. It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to completely <laughs> obliterate everything in a three-block radius. What? Set torches underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them a ride? There's <laughs> more to this. It's not a simple Taco Randy Marsh is funniest character. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see, ever since the whole no. Taco's Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. Not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. They don't even realize what the sign is for. That's funny. And that's not and that is not the thing you take pictures with. Okay. Then I realized I had suddenly completed everything and then I needed to return to the golf kids. I also leveled up, so I decided to choose execute. Because in all honesty, execute is badass. It'll it'll only take me one more level up before I can do the best kind of execute that allows me to attack again if it's successful, if it successfully knocks out an enemy. God damn it! My headset went again. Better find some more Nazi zombies and kick the shit out of them. Because Nazi zombies deserve to die. They are assholes. You know, I can't tell whether they're using actual phrases on the show or their own unique phrases. I decided to execute on one Nazi zombie. And from there on I just let Stan do the work with his whirlwind slash. And it's marked for death, apparently. By the, by the way, Stan is awesome fighter. I really don't know how you're supposed to block all those hits. But still, at least I kill one. And then I finally whack the shit out of this last nasty zombie using an execute swamp. Execute swamp? No. Execute attack. I have execute authority, just like the seals in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It turns out that one is weak. So yeah, Stan's sword is also pretty good. Then it gets the idea to bite me and I block it. And so yeah, South Park is cool, South Park's funny, there's a lot of cool jokes in the episodes. And they're just gonna release more! More and more South Park will come out in America, and then in England. Or you could just watch it online if you don't want to wait. Have you heard? Taco Bell is coming to South Park. Oh yeah. We finally Taco made Bell is to South Park. Oh yeah. There's going to be another obligatory South Park reference coming up in the next minutes or so. Yeah. Because. It's a South Park game, there's going to be a lot of references to the South Park show, a lot of references and jokes and callbacks. Oh yes, I also remember their goth kids, so I decided to change back into my goth apparel. My goth cap, clothes and gloves. Because normally, honestly, goth kids dress goth. Whoa, he did it. Nice. Whoa, yeah, but he's he still it. not goth. He'll have yeah, to pass the final not. test. You may look goth, Frodo. But can you dance goth? Can you dance goth? Oh yeah, goth style dancing. Less enthusiasm. Totally fucking bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> You call that smoking? Cop feeling the rage. 
Have you seen the South Park episode where that actually happens? Mm. Yeah. He's pretty goth. Dancing pretty goth is the way to go to grab goth kids. I felt his pain. Alright, new kid, you've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us and we'll be there. <laughs> and then out of the blue I get four new friend requests. All four goths. And that means I also get a new perk. I shovel the perks and... It eventually takes me a long time to choose perks, so I eventually choose Growing Boy. Mainly because... I need the health. My health is good, okay? Health is good, okay? You don't wanna die, okay? Okay, I get it? Yeah, I get it. And so, yeah. Health is good. A lot of it. Because those racist aliens were actually very bad. They, they killed me. And so now the golf kids were mine, I had to make an important choice. Whether to hand them to Cartman or to Kyle. I didn't give it much thought, however. I thought, I've seen enough South Park to know that Cartman is not to be trusted. So I eventually made the choice to hand the goth kids over to Kyle and the elves. So instead of just walking, I just take the fast travel tag over there. So Timmy is always friendly. In all honesty, I don't think a Princess Kenny is good. Now, after seeing Stan, I'm starting to compare Princess Kenny to him. Because Stan can just kick ass. A Twitter raven has told me of your success in recruiting another faction. Simply call them here, and your dedication to the trials will be complete. Climb up into the treehouse and summon your allies. No trip, yeah, human. But the kids in South Park take their games very seriously. No, really, they do. They do take their games seriously. But instead of a horn, I have my badass iPhone. I hereby make you a member of the Trow Elves of the Forest. Yay! Nukin, you have our friendship. I hereby level you up to the rank of Commander. An immediate level up from Sir to Commander, douchebag. Because Commander is a lot more badass. Really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter. Ah, you shot down their message, Raven. Right, right, we shot down their Raven. And the evil Wizard King has hidden the stick inside his desk at school. Dude, of course. Carmen hid it in his desk. Drow elves of the forest. We know where the humans are hiding the stick. I knew Carmen was cheating. We shall march on the school and make the holy strip of their blood. Yeah, the elves are going to mount an all-out war in the next part. Well, that just about brings me to the end of my director's commentary. I'll just watch this final cutscene, and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully, I won't delete my commentary the next time. I won't make another dirt move. We thank you for your courage in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer elves or goths. Tonight, we fight as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The elves are here. The elves are here. And then Scott Malkinson. Elves, flank left. Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind. Yeah, taking them from behind is the only way to go. See if you can get into the side entrance to take out their defenses from behind. And so that's the end of my director's commentary. I'll see you next time and hopefully I won't delete my commentary like I did the first time. Bye!